So we had a question about number two, and you have this cost data. And part A says, identify the range of output exhibiting increasing returns, which we relate to marginal product, and the range exhibiting diminishing returns, which also relates to marginal product. Then you go, well, that makes no sense, because all I have is the cost data here, the amount of output and the cost, but this one's asking for information about the marginal product, and I thought in my slides here that marginal product was always, marginal product always had something to do with the quantity, that's good, but it had something to do with labor, but I don't see anything about labor in this question. Well, that's true. That's why I have to go way down, ponder, muse, ruminate over the last three slides of the chapter, because it talks about the relationship between the production side and the cost side of things. So you'll note I didn't say identify the range of labor, like what amount of labor is associated with increasing returns or diminishing returns. I said identify the range of output where there's increasing returns, diminishing returns. So again, it's going to require you to spend a little bit of time thinking about these last three slides, the relationship between cost and production.